Tomorrow is leap year day. Come on. Why aren't you taking advantage of this beautiful, crisp morning? God, look! It's so cold this morning, there's Florida snow. Florida snow! Well, Jerry, we got a long ways till it's serious top water action. 59.1 at 7.38 a.m. It is cold. All right, well, this is actually what I had in mind today. Getting some good whiting. I'll take them. Some whiting for a fish fry. Usually it's a Monday, Tuesday, but today's Friday and it's cold. And there's so many fair weather fishermen out there. This is the reason that I love it when it's like this. Nobody, nobody at the jetties. Maybe it's because there's no fish, but we're gonna see. But there's, you come here on a Saturday and this is lined up like no tomorrow. And it will be soon on March 7th on the El Cheapo Sheephead Tournament. And I'll just be cutting fish instead with the Falezal and Makita. Do they really want to bring actually even bigger in here? Is there bigger? That thing is pushing a 15 foot wall of water. If you're up against the jetties right now, you're dead. You're toast. Here comes the wall of water. Really? I wish this had zoom. I can feel the suction and I'm not even on that side of the rocks. The pilot boat is even having to smoke out of that giant wake. Here's the pilot boat right there. And here it comes. If you're up against the rocks, you're toast. You just got whacked right into the rocks. And then there's going to be a double whammy after that. One busy damn place. Oh yeah, nice speckly trout. about time. There's bait all in here. And uh, that's what makes the world go round. Do da, do da. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about on the fluke rig. Nice trout. Third cast. Got another. There's all this bait in here. Look at all these birds. They're all chasing glass minnows. Yeah! All these birds over here, they're all chasing glass minnows. Got another one. He ain't a whopper stopper, but... It'll make the grease stink at Dave's house. Come on! Not a whopper stopper, but it's a keeper. Yes, sir. This is a good one here. This is a good Just 
know there's going to be some speckly ass bastards in here. The damn sweetheart. It's a sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Oh, another fat chubby keeper. See? Because Florida has such screwed up trout laws now, you know, we get excited over ones that are, you know, just keepers. Nice big chubster. Oh, wait for it. Come on. Well, because Florida has such screwed up trout laws in my area here, I'm only allowed two more because, you know, we're just out here killing them every day when 90% of everybody, you know, they, they just care about sheep's head. Most people that come out here aren't even fishing for trout. But you can't, you know, tell the state that or, you know, because they're about as screwed up as a prisoner's checkbook. The ultimate control. Another sweet! Skinny male. Exactly 15. So I think I'm going to let this little skinny male go because I'll take a chubby 17, 18. The whole idea, especially for speckled trout, is if you really have the chance to get in green, clean water, which is pretty much a rarity in these parts. That is really the ticket. Look at that, Magambo. Yeah, everybody always asks, what do you use it for bite? Well, when you're float rig fishing, float rig, you always use Magambo. All right, I believe this is a sweetheart. I threw back that little one, and then it took forever to get this number five because the bait disappeared. Nope, not that much of a sweetheart. All right, so this one's going in the box. Number five, no screwing around. All right, stick a fork in my butt. I am done. Oh my God. You got a west wind against an incoming tide. So the tide's going this way and the wind's going that way. What a pain in the butt. It's colder than a dang witch's tit. You got the wind going this way and the current going that way. Go back and clean my trout. My, I got a little sand trout and a whiting. I did what I wanted to do. Catch some trout. Oh, my whopping five. Actually, I caught six. I caught six, but I threw one back. It is freezing cold out here. And the water temperature in the river on this incoming tide even dropped more than a degree. Oh, I don't like these rising tides in the winter time. I'm heading in. Time to make the donuts. Oh, and while I was out here, I did me a Italian tune-up. I screamed out the jetties for about two miles, hauling mud. Got the engine up to really warm. So, yeah, I did my Italian tune-up. Come on.
sitting around the house. Got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing. 